hello guys welcome back to red hot tv today i hereby withdraw the word stupid that i used on journalists and i regret it femi fanny kayode apologizes femi fanny kayode a former minister of aviation has apologized for insulting a journalist in calabar cross river state capital last week the apology of the People's Democratic Party chieftain comes barely a day after he remained defiant, oiling his ego over the unfortunate outburst wherein he described the media practitioner as being very stupid. A question by the journalist Ayo Charles attached to one of the national dailies on who was bankrolling his stores across states of the Federation necessitated the outburst. He had vowed yesterday not to apologize for his verbal attacks despite criticisms that greeted it when a video clip of what transpired surfaced online. But in a statement this morning, the former minister said he regretted using the word stupid and have withdrawn it after being advised to do so. He also denied sending one of his security aides to interrogate the journalists. I met with my advisors and I wish to say the following. I hereby withdraw the word stupid which I used in my encounter with a journalist in Calabar. I have many friends in the media who are offended by losing my cool and using such words. I hereby express my regrets for doing so, the PDP chieftain said. I do, however, wish to state categorically that no threat of physical harm was ever made to the journalists in question. And neither did I send anyone to threaten him. Anyone that says otherwise is lying and I challenge them to bring the proof. I would never seek to physically harm a journalist. For the last 30 years, I have defended and worked with journalists and fought for the rights of freedom of expression. I am also very close to many in that profession. I am also very... I, I will be the last to seek to disparage those that are honorable and noble within its ranks. I hope that this will assuage the pain and anger of anyone that was hurt or offended by this ugly episode. I have now put this matter behind me and moved on. Now my tour of the South continues, moving to another state today, he added. However, Nigerians have reacted to this in different manners. Sodik April wrote, Lol, he can shove the apology up his ass. Femi broke, shamed the man, asking him whose son he is. And he kept shouting, do you know who I am? If Femi Fanny Kayode of all people that criticizes people using violent and uncouth words can get annoyed by a simple question, then <laughs> screw him. It means he doesn't really hate oppression. He hates being the one oppressed. I hope the Nigerian of journalists can see this and not invite him in the future because he clearly disrespected them. As for the other journalists there, I know even Sabi waiting to talk. If they actually know their onions, they should have asked him the same question. If you don't see anything wrong with what FFK did, you are just a double-faced hypocrite and an ass licker. Okay. Um, Charming Graska wrote, He is mad. I want to see if he will continue his unprovoked attacks on people whose ideology and views are different from his after he has shown us that he can't take a pinch, a pinch of his slanderous and libellous attacks on other people. He is a selfish, non-altruistic and egoistic hypocrite 
with no respect for freedom of expression, which he himself has been abusing. What baffles me is the fact that no PDP person has made a comment about this scandalous act of Femi. But if it was the other way around, the media would have been agog with different barrage of insensitive comments and insults from the PDP folks. I am also against the fact that some dingbats here on Naira land are defending the shameful act. Hmm. Swiss 123 wrote, Only God knows how he abused those that worked under his ministry. He should take his mockery of an apology and shove it up his miserable stinking dark hole. The shots have already been fired. Hmm. Nigerians are not taking this easy at all. Um, Omenka wrote, as in righteousness, it's not in roots. That's a good one. The ability to humble yourself and apologize is commendable. That's a very good one from FFK. That was what righteousness is now wrote. And Omenka replied him saying, On the other thread, you said he was right to have attacked the reporter. Now you are still saying he is right to have apologized. You are no different from FFK. You are a hypocrite concealing your hate under the cloak of religious garbage. Imagine FFK on head to head on Al Jazeera or Hard Talk or BBC or facing off with Amanpo or CNN. I don't blame him or those who support him. I blame the cowardly journalists who took such vicious dress down and went ahead to apologize his, to his attacker. You PDP fanatics are way worse than the people you criticized. Hmm. Okay. Um, Ellen Tracy wrote, Well, he only withdrew the word stupid, and I see no apology there. <laughs> Chocolate wine wrote, Now my life be this. Ordinary journalist, I cannot overcome. When 30 year old, a toppling Mali government. Kosiki's wrote, This man is a big clown. Me myself was asking myself how someone would sit down and call his fellow man, probably someone's father, stupid. Honestly, it was not nice and really unnecessary. Okay, Frank Money wrote, The most annoying part of the press conference was when the other journalists were telling the guy, you see yourself, she be I tell you. Hmm. Like what the heck, the journalists did absolutely nothing wrong. And they are trying to talk him down. Okay. And Nigerians have not taken this lightly at all. At all. Pata Alhaja wrote, foolish man, we draw a key you there. Lodi Bruku that's raining courses on Femi Fani Coyote. Short cake still wrote his own saying, Arrogant idiot, a complete madman, no decorum whatsoever. Lodi Bruku, Omwa Lejati Jati. People are really raining abuses on him, and it's very, very bad. Um, uh, and that person wrote, um, okay, people are busy here attacking themselves instead of attacking the person who did the apology. A matrimonious wrote, he must be used to that word. I was too, I was too, but now repentant. Mine used to be, you must be very stupid with baritone harshness. Neighbors and friends started taking after me, self. Okay. Mamo Talk wrote, he wanted to exhibit that APC trademark of arrogance and impunity. Thank God that the leaders of our great party, PDP, had prevailed on him that he must subservient to the rule of law and the texts of fundamental human rights. Thank you, the leaders of PDP, for showing the better way of doing things in civilized society. This one is just a fanatic saying rubbish. Saying rubbish. Young boy forever wrote, 
the journalist is too slow, Jerry. He was easily intimidated by this stupid man. Donald Trump faced different kind of questions every time. If you are too big to answer questions, why join politics in the first place? Why come to a press conference? I am sure he can't try that with a CNN or a BBC journalist. Nighthawk wrote, who cares who your father was? It's only in a crazy country like Nigeria where any Tom, Dick and Harry can rise to the corridors of power because you are a child of one thug or politician of no value because you know or you are favored by one godfather. Giving the journalist the same opportunity this FFK claim he had in life, can he ever stand and face him one-on-one? -on -one? Empty barrels make the loudest noise. And that's where we'll call it a wrap today. So guys, if you have anything to say concerning this Femi Fani Kayode issue, drop your comments in the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.